And in today's video, we're going to talk about the latest and greatest DC universe information and news going around the community and going around the internet. And also, we're going to have to talk about the Snyderverse stuff and also the DCEU stuff. So, yo, what is freaking good, YouTube? Voice you here. If you are new around, make sure to subscribe to never miss any of the Marvel DC pop culture based content that we try to do on a daily basis. Good, subscribe to the channel, turn notifications on. And let me know down below what do you think about all this information that's been going around. Also, if you could check us out on Twitter. What's you G? That would be great. It's my smallest social media. And also, could you check us out on Instagram? That's what's you to see the beautiful face behind the beautiful voice. Right. So much to go over in this video. Right. Let's break it down. So there is something that's going around that's very misleading. No, we're not talking about the fact that Netflix will never buy the Snyderverse because the Snyderverse does not exist. There's intellectual property characters there is no Snyderverse that agenda it's absolutely freaking insane it's not gonna happen I get it some trade to picking it up yeah because they've got nothing to talk about and they don't want to talk about DCEU stuff because they keep getting debunked and the fact that oh my god Forbes is talking about it it's an opinion piece cool I would like to see the Snyderverse continue I said this I was the one that told you guys the Zack Snyder Just League was coming on HBO Max before anyone else. Don't you think if I actually thought it was possible for Netflix to buy the Snyderverse that I would be like, yo, I would be backing it, but I can't back it because it's not going to happen. But something I find very interesting is a lot of people blame James Gunn because James Gunn is rebooting the DCEU, which essentially is the Snyderverse. When you say restore the Snyderverse, you're essentially saying restore the DCEU. It's not actually James Gunn's fault. The Snyderverse has been over for many years, but the difference here is the actors have still been around, so it's almost felt like the Snyderverse was still there, but if you realistically think about it, the Snyderverse has been dead and buried for such a long time. What James Gunn has done, he's ended the Hamadaverse. Now, y'all angry because he's ended the Hamadaverse, yet y'all all wanted work to Hamada out, yet the original plans of the Flash movie was to build up to a crisis on the infinite earth level kind of event. We know the ended in the Flash, careful spoilers don't ruin your life. We know the Flash villain is Dark Flash. We know that Ben Affleck was supposed to get lost in time and he was going to call Barry Allen, played by Ezra Miller, sadly, up and be like, yo, Barry, I need your help. We're lost. Okay, obviously not call him up. I'm being sarcastic. But the point is, James Gunn did not end the Snyderverse. The Snyderverse ended essentially when they made the Josh Sweden cut. That's essentially when the Snyderverse ended. Let's be honest, I get it. Zack Snyder's canon continuity is still around, I get it. But James Gunn has not ended anything except for the Hamadaverse, but most of you people didn't want the Hamadaverse. But now you want the Hamadaverse over the new DC Universe, even though you don't actually know what the DC Universe is, is it? because he's not said anything. And his silent part, and Pete Saffron said even less. So... Let's break it down. I don't think DC fans know what they actually want. There is lots of different corners of the DC Universe fans. Some who want the Snyderverse, some who just want decent movies, some who aren't really fussed and will watch whatever. And that's the audience for movie studios. Movie studios cater to the normies. They don't cater to comic book fans. I hate to tell you this, lads and ladettes. They don't cater to comic book fans. So, I'm glad I got that out of the way. So... James Gunn did not end the Snyderverse. The Snyderverse was ended by the old regime. The Hamadaverse is what he's technically ended, but we don't know if he's ended because we are getting opinion piece websites and people hate when I say this. Variety and Deadline keep posting opinion pieces. It's not a total reboot. It's a soft reboot. Let's just wait for James Gunn to come out and actually say something concrete. Outside of him saying, yeah, we're not going with Henry Cavill Superman, we're going with a younger Superman. That's all he's really said. That's it. Ben Affleck doesn't want to be Batman anymore, it appears. So this whole restore the Snyderverse on Netflix makes no sense because Ben Affleck, sure, he returned for like a cameo role in Aquaman that's now been cut. And essentially what is a tiny role in The Flash? Okay, cool. He is in a bit of the first act. And I mean, it's not really a big role he's got, but he's in it. Sure, he's in it. That's the problem with this whole agenda of restoring the Snyderverse. If one actor doesn't want to come out to play and doesn't want to return, the whole Snyderverse agenda is down the hole, isn't it? So also in the news, Ezra Miller admitted 
He plead guilty. It's actually kind of a joke. So he pleads guilty, right? 90 days probation delayed, suspended, which means unless he does anything for the next year, it means he's essentially got away with a fine and surcharges that is less than $700. It's an absolute joke. But he's actually pleading guilty by taking a plea guilty and settling out of court. Actually, technically, legally makes him guilty. Now, I know a lot of you people go, no, it doesn't make it does make him guilty. His lawyer would not say take a plea deal, settle out of court if you're not actually guilty. If he wasn't guilty, there's literally CC footage. There's so much evidence. So somehow he's got away with it. I don't think Warner Bros. will be too happy the fact that he's pleaded guilty. But he essentially has got away with everything. So, allegedly, we have our new Superman in the DCEU. According to D-E-U-X-M-O-I, that is some kind of multimedia, social media page on Instagram. They've got 2 million followers. And they did break the story of Lady Gaga appearing in the Joker 2. So... They could somewhat be credible. So, well, this is what they posted on their stories, on their Instagram stories. Subject recast Superman. An Australian actor who was on HBO Max, a rom-con trilogy and currently on HBO Max teen show, Euphoria, which is freaking insane. It's being looked at for the role of Man of Steel. The release date is summer 2025, directed and written by James Gunn. Now, this makes complete sense. A lot of people... Yeah, he is like six foot five, which, and, and he, he looks like he, he, he needs to bulk up a little bit, sure, but he's got enough time to get on the trend train. So, Jacob Elordi is who people seem to think is playing or is being eyed up to be the next Superman. There's even been fan art. So, he looks the part. I mean, I still think Mr. Wolfgang would be much better, but. He's 25, that's young, that's part of the specification. When James Gunn said that, yeah, they're going with a younger Superman, which, don't get me wrong, it still makes no freaking sense. But when James Gunn reveals his plan, I'm sure Superman will be one of the first things because Superman is a priority, according to David Zasoff. So, James Gunn tweeted this the other day. Interesting. My day, I wrote one third of an announced DC TV show. Okay, 100 VFX shot. Did a reference acting for Rocket and gave editing notes for Volume 3 and had two big DC studio meetings. So, we already know The Batman, played by Robin Patterson, directed by Matt Reeves. He's busy at work working on the script for Batman 2. Although this will not be part of the DC universe, it will be part of DC Studios because, careful for spoilers, it's a DC movie. So we know for sure the first two projects that come out under James Gunn and his silent partner Pete Saffron's eyes will be Superman and the Batman 2. Whether Robin Pattinson's going to be the Batman going forward for the DCEU, I still think it's up in the air. A lot of people try to debunk me going, no, it's set in its own universe. But there's a Metropolis or magically being revealed in a comic book that is linked to the Batman, isn't there? Yes, there is. And also we have the Penguin show coming up. Everything that comes out will technically be part of the DC Studios, but won't necessarily be part of the DCU. It will be interesting to see how they tie literally everything together. So, also in the news, The Flash had some major reshoots. No, no, they didn't. I just said that. They had some reshoots, though. They weren't major, like some people are implying they are major. They are essentially just pick up shots for VFX. Damn this Flash movie. They have spent so much money on it. It is absolutely horrendous now. They spent over $250 million. So, of course, this movie will be released. So, yesterday, someone with some sort of credibility, one of these anonymous Twitter insiders, was going to drop a cool story today, but there's been a bit of a delay in getting it done, so I'll just post this instead. The Flash will be going under a few days of minor reshoots this month. Again, they're changing it. No, they're not changing the ending. Big screen leaks went and say this. By the way, this isn't the ending as far as I know. It's just to touch up some shot. And I reached out to my own people and my own people did confirm what big screen leaks said, but he also said it's to do with the VFX needing some more work or some variant of it's a VFX related scene. So they needed to pick up something in order to make the scene look better. Pretty much that's all I heard. Don't don't think they're adding like loads of cool people in because they're not adding anything in. The movie's locked now. It's just a case of getting it edited, getting the audio, getting the visual as good as possible. So also in the news. So Mark Fuse, who is a freelance 
a writer for Forbes, wrote an opinion piece about Restore the Snyderverse. Is the latest fan movement crazy or is licensing Snyderverse to Netflix shockingly good option that could solve everyone's problems? I don't understand what you mean by everyone's problems. There is no problem here. People want the Snyderverse restored, but what the hell is Netflix involved for? They're not involved. They want nothing to do with it. And people keep bringing up the fact, oh, but Netflix buys this and Netflix bought this. Not even the same kind of thing. I get it. I see it. And it's, it, it does it irritate me because in my opinion, it's just making the Snyderverse fans look stupid. It's not going to happen. They're not going to sell characters. There is no Snyderverse to sell off. They're not going to have Snyderverse characters on the Netflix which is their biggest competitor when it comes to streaming and then be like, yeah, but you, you, you should support what we're trying to do over here theatrically. Yes, Mark Hughes does. He's a contributor freelancer for Forbes, but the article WB selling DCU Snyderverse and Netflix is surprisingly the best option. No, it's not. It's really not the best option. The best option would be for the Snyderverse to be restored theatrically at Warner Brothers Discovery, not through Netflix. Not even once. So I keep seeing people talk about it and it does irritate me. I get it. You're passionate of hands. Yeah, really passionate. But where was this energy when Black Adam come out? Where was the energy? Where were the sales? What makes me laugh is people seem to think if Netflix brings out Justice League 2, 3, Ben Affleck comes back to do his series, that they're going to break Netflix records. Nah, you're not getting close to Wednesday series. She absolutely slayed. Like, absolutely got the biggest streaming record not even close i get it and just because it trends every day with 10 to 15 thousand people are they bots are they bots i don't know but i'm getting to the point now where it's getting ridiculous lads and ladettes it's not gonna happen netflix won't do it and i get it but david zasloff wants to sell all the music that warner bros owns warner media owns i get it to make money he's not going to sell off DC Snyderverse, because for one thing, there is no DC Snyderverse. I get sick and tired of saying this. Snyderverse is not an IP. I get it. You want to see the Ayakar. You want to see just C23 in the Batman series. I get it. But it's not going to happen unless James Gunn wants it to happen or the new heads of the DC studio want it to happen. And people keep saying, take my money, take my money. It doesn't carry over to the general populace. And I get it, I see the fake screenshots of the Batman series on Netflix, and don't get me wrong, it looks cool. But the description, like seriously, after Stephen Wolf defeats Bruce, returns to Gotham City and finds the city situation in chaos. Several prisoners have escaped from Arkham Asylum and caused the Gotham City to become a Royal Rumble arena. No days off, Batman is back in charge, protecting the city. Are you even a Batman fan who wrote that? Like seriously, behave lads, it's not gonna happen. I like your energy, but if you're really a DC fan, the Snyderverse is not DC. I get it. I get what you're trying to do, but it's not DC. DC is DC. Snyderverse was just one con continuity. There's multiple continuities in the comics. There's New 52. There's DC Rebirth. And there's so many different continuities. It's just, it is what it is. I, I hate to see these people tweeting about this stuff because it's not going to happen. It's not like when I said the Zack Snyder Justice League movie was coming out because it was already there. There was factual stuff there. There was things that were filmed that hadn't been seen. This is a entirely new project. It's not even close. It's not even close. There's nothing there. It's done, it's dusted, I get it. You're using Mark Fuse to hype you up. Yeah, he might be verified and he might work or be a freelancer for Variety, but he doesn't have a very big following. So please stop it, lads. Behave. We have had our Snyderverse. It's done and it's dusted. So like always, guys, let me know. What do you think about Jacob becoming the next Superman? Do you think the first movie to release under James Gunn Will be the next Superman movie, and will be Batman 2, or maybe a different Batman, we don't know, but I think that's very unlikely at this time of speaking. And James Gunn did end the Snyderverse. The Snyderverse was ended a long time ago. He ended the the Hamadaverse. So like always, guys, check us out on Instagram at Wushju. Check us out on Twitter, Wushju G. And I will catch you in another video very soon. Catch you later. <laughs>